Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this KitchenAid cold brew coffee maker. You can make cold brew coffee and cold brew tea with it, but I'm going to be showing you how to make cold brew coffee. Okay, so let's take a look at the cold brew coffee maker. It feels like it's very well made. It's got some weight to it. It's got a nice handle. We've got this lid. We've got the steeping basket. So this is a really fine filter that you can sort of see through, but you're going to put the coffee or tea in here. We're going to pour the water around it. And then we're going to let it steep. Then you're going to let it sit and brew. So it does have this lid that also comes off. So inside here, this is what it looks like. The bottom. So the bottom does come apart. So we can take this whole thing apart to do a good job cleaning. But you probably don't have to clean it like this every single time. But we can take this all apart. Again, this valve seems like it's very well made. Very good quality. Okay, so we're gonna be using this cold brew uh, coffee that's already coarsely ground. You can use any coffee you would like, but it does need to be kind of like to a medium to a coarse grind. And if you've got regular coffee for like a drip coffee maker at a medium grind, it'll work fine too. You'll just get a little bit more sediment in your coffee. So the instructions say we're gonna pour in nine ounces of coarsely ground coffee. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Busy Cold Brew ground coffee. Again, it's ground at a coarse grind. You can see it is definitely coarse. For a drip coffee maker, it's a medium grind, but this is coarse grind. Okay, so the instructions to say add nine ounces of coarsely ground coffee. One cup is eight ounces, so just add a little bit more than one cup. You're going to pour them right there into the steeping basket. Okay, so now we're going to pour in 42 ounces of water over the coffee grounds. You're going to kind of do it at a slow kind of go in a circle. You want to get all the coffee grounds nice and saturated. And you may want to stop for a little bit and let them get saturated. But we're just going to pour this water in, kind of in a circular motion. You can start to see it's brewing already. And you're supposed to kind of wait and then kind of pour it in some more. Again, just you're trying to get all those coffee grounds nice and saturated. So if the grounds didn't, if I got in a hurry and they didn't all get saturated, just kind of poke around a little bit. Just don't touch the filter. Just kind of make sure all the grounds get nice and saturated. Kind of break up some clumps. Okay, so now we can see that it's already starting to brew. You're going to put the lid on. Now we've got to let it steep for 12 to 24 hours. You can do this on the countertop or you can put it in the refrigerator. It doesn't matter. Now I have found that the longer you let it steep, so like sit here, I, I tend to go between the 12 and the 24. You can go 12, it tastes good, but the longer you go, it does give it more of a richer coffee flavor. Now when this is all done, this is going to be considered a, cough, a cold brew concentrate. You can just dispense this and drink it with some milk, but you're going to want to dilute it with some water a little bit. So when you put it into your drink, dilute it with a little bit of water, then some milk, and it's going to make a delicious drink. There's kind of a close-up of what it's doing. So I do put mine in the refrigerator so that the concentrate will be cold and ready to use. So I love that it fits in the refrigerator just nice. It doesn't take up very much footprint. So when it's in your refrigerator, it's only about six and a half inches tall, maybe about seven with that lid. Okay, so I let mine steep in the refrigerator for 24 hours. You can put this on the countertop. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator to steep it, but I like it. That way your liquid is already cold, ready to go for the drink. So it's got a really neat design. You're gonna put the handle down, take the lid off. There's what the coffee looks like on the inside. Now the filter basket is designed to kind of rest at an angle. There's going to be a lot of, of water drain out of that coffee for a little bit. So kind of put it at an angle and let it sit like that. That'll let all, all the coffee drain out of there. You can see it is pretty much designed to do that. Okay, so let's take the filter basket off. Okay, so after you get rid of the coffee grounds, it says it's not dishwasher safe. I have put this in the top rack of the dishwasher after I rinsed it out. And it did okay. Okay, so here's our cold brew coffee concentrate. Now, one thing you're gonna have to keep in mind, this is a concentrated cold brew. We're gonna mix it with water and milk to get our perfect taste. So in the manual, it talks about 
the one third rule. So you're going to use the, they call that the one third concentrate, and then two parts of water or milk. So mine, I like to do a combination. So I use a little bit of a concentrate. I dilute it just a little bit with water, and then I add milk. Okay, so I place this on top of the box because you're probably going to serve this out of your refrigerator. So here I've got the ice. And then one thing I also do, so see how that is down? I add water to the right about to the top here. That kind of helps dilute this a little bit. You still have to dilute it a little bit more. Now, you can drink the concentrate. Just keep in mind, that is a cold brew concentrated. It is supposed to be diluted a little bit. Okay, so I got my ice. I put my water in it. Now, let's come up here and dispense the cold brew out. The dispenser works very well. And then I like to add some milk, too. So I'm going to go about half and half here. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for the milk. And then I like to add a little bit of French vanilla syrup. And the thing I like about this, it doesn't drip. So after you turn it off, you don't get any extra drips out. You can add any kind of syrup you'd like. I like to, about two tablespoons of French vanilla. And then I like to add a little bit of milk. This is really helps with the flavor. And then give that a stir. That's a really cold drink. Now let's give it a taste. That tastes absolutely delicious. Now what I like about cold brew coffee makers in the refrigerator, I can taste the coffee, but I don't have that bitterness. Now, granted the milk and the sugar are taking some of that bitterness away, but the coffee is a smooth coffee flavor. It's kind of a dark, strong coffee flavor, but without that bitterness, it tastes so good. It's a nice, refreshing drink, and you definitely have the coffee taste to it, but none of that bitterness. Now, if I want less coffee, add more water, add more milk. If you want more of a coffee flavor to it, add more coffee. So this KitchenAid um, cold brew coffee maker, it's just a really nice design. It's very portable. I like that you can put it in the refrigerator. It doesn't take up much room. Keep in mind, this is a concentrate. You know, and again, like I said, I like to add water to it. That way you're diluting it a little bit in here. And then you can always dilute it a little bit in your glass. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.